So the other autoclave that we have in this office in Chantilly is called a statum. So this is going to be used when we need something quickly. Um, or let's say we have a busy day, we're trying to catch up. You can put things in this as well. Um, it has the same settings, unwrapped, pouch. Um, there's one setting on here, rubber and plastic. We don't use it because we don't really have anything in our office um, that we would need that for. And then you have start and stop. So this is going to be used, like I said, when you need something quickly. So let's say that you're in surgery and you drop something on the floor and it's something that you need right now. We have the M11 above here and we have the statum here. The time settings say they're the same, but the difference is that this M11 up here has a big chamber that it has to fill and it has to get up to pressure. So it's going to take time to build that pressure up. So it will sterilize in five minutes, but the time it takes to get to that pressure to then start that five minute timer is a lot longer compared to the statum. So the statum has this tiny cassette that we call it. Um, you'll open it, you'll put your instruments in here, and then you'll close it and slide it back in. So let's say you drop something in surgery, you will lay a piece of gauze in here, you'll put the instrument in or implant piece, whatever it is, on top of here, you close it, and then you slide it back in. You wanna kinda of do it abruptly because you wanna make sure it locks in. Sometimes you'll hit start and it'll say um, insert cassette. So you'll have to push it in before it will begin. And then you'll hear that lock sound. So then you would uh, run it on unwrapped. So as long as it's something that you're going to use right now and carry into surgery, you can run it on unwrapped. Um, if it's something that you're having a busy day and you're just trying to use the statum to help you catch up on autoclaving, those things will need to be in a pouch because they're gonna go into storage in the drawers. It's not something you're using right now. So also at the top of here, this is where your water is going to go. It's gonna go down in this hole. This is just a little filter. Um, I say a good water level, you'll be able to see the water touching the bottom of this filter. That's usually how you know you're, um, you have enough. So you always want to check that beforehand because this, uh, the statum will let you start it and you'll walk away and then you'll come back and you'll see a message on this screen that says that there's not enough water or it says fill, something along those lines. Um, so, you know, you'll end up wasting your three minutes and have to redo it. The biggest thing with using the statum um, before you pull the cassette out is always check your screen because it's not um, uncommon to get an error message that will say instruments not sterile, re-sterilize. So you don't wanna come and just pull this out and hurry up and grab your things and run away and then realize it actually wasn't sterile. So always check your screen. If it does say instruments not sterile, I'll usually just hit stop, pull this back out, push it in, and then rerun it. And then you should be good. But just always check that screen. Um, there's also a little level bubble right here that will show you if the machine is level. If it's not, there's little um, legs underneath of here and you can twist those and it will balance it out. So the water that goes from there will drain down into this bucket down here. So I'm gonna lower this camera a bit. So this has a maximum fill level and a minimum fill level. So the water needs to be within that area. So you always wanna check that before you run it as well because you don't want it to overflow um, and it might not work properly if it's too full. And there's a little coil that that drains down into. Um, so it is important that it has the appropriate level of water.